Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and we're going to give you some news that happened today around the silver and black. The Las Vegas Raiders signed two players. Also, somebody was released around the National Football League named Blake Martinez, and that's one of Patrick Graham's favorite players out there. We'll talk about him a little bit. Then at the end of today's show, an offensive lineman that I have brought up multiple times as a potential trade target. He hurt himself today. Does it still make sense to keep him as a target? And then at the very, very end of today's show, we'll talk about a player that got signed that breaks my heart here a little bit. So the first player that was signed by the Raiders today to the active practice squad is J.R. Reed. And he played last season with the Denver Broncos. And personally, he's a safety that does offer you some special teams ability. For me personally, I think that the re biggest reason why that this signing happened is because of Tom McMahon, Raiders special teams coach. What I'm going to read right now is exactly what the official Raiders website had to say about J.R. Reed, who's, again, coming in here at six foot one, 194 pounds. Defensive back went to Georgia, but in 2020 was uh, with the Los Angeles Rams before signing with the New York Giants active roster in 2021. He has appeared in 16 career games in total, nine tackles, four solo on defense, six stops on special teams. Reed played three seasons from 2017 to 2019 at Georgia after transferring from Tulsa. As a senior in 2019, he was named All-SEC first team by coaches after starting all 13 games, recording 54 tackles, seven PBUs, one pick, and one fumble recovery. So realistically, what you have here is just an extra depth piece in terms of a safety, in terms of a player that one of your special teams coaches has a good relationship with. And on top of that, if he's also worked a little bit with the New York Giants last season, that's there's your Patrick Graham example as well. Now let's go to the next name here. And I'm just going to refer to him by his last name, German, because I've heard a few different pronunciations. I've heard Vitaly, Vitaly. I think it's Vitaly German, but again, I've heard a di few different ones here. This is, again, just a little bit more of a, a depth signing, and according to the Raiders website, he is six foot three, about 306 pounds here, entered the NFL as an undrafted free agent with the Kansas City Chiefs in 2022 before being waived at the end of training camp. He played two seasons from 2020 to 2021 at Toledo after transferring from... Idenboro University, where he was named first team all PSAC in 2019. All PSAC. I wonder if that's in Pennsylvania. I know a lot of schools from Pennsylvania. We'll also go into some of their stats. I have their PFF grades as well, which we will get into in just a second. But if you haven't already subscribed to the Raiders Report, please make sure you do so. Our graphics here over the past two hours, which is kind of why it took me so long to get this video out. So long. I'm saying like 90 minutes late because our graphics system went kind of wonky, so you're not going to see as much as what you usually do. But at the end of the day, we want to keep you guys up to date on the latest news, on all the rumors that you're looking for around your team. So if you bleed silver and black, we don't take any days off here. Hit that subscribe button. In terms of JRE, let's go to 2021 because he didn't put up any numbers last season. So from according to PFF, He's got a 71.6 overall grade, a run defense grade in 2021 of 53.1, pass rush grade of 57.3, coverage grade of 73.0. In terms of overall snaps played, 38 coverage snaps, 16 run defense snaps, two pass rush snaps. He did allow three catches, a 79.2 overall passer rating. But I mean, realistically, put up some halfway decent numbers in 2021 in 2020. Didn't put up any numbers here, so let's now go to German, who he doesn't really have any numbers whatsoever if you look at the top to bottom from PFF. This one is more, again, of just a little bit of a overall depth piece here. I was hoping that the Raiders were able to bring in a little bit of a bigger name, but these two players are just practice squad guys, and as it stands right now, since the Raiders decided to move on from Bam, you now technically have, not even technically, it's Literally, you literally have 15 out of 16 players on your practice squad. Maybe one of the top reasons why you clicked on this video is because the New York Giants, they let go of linebacker Blake Martinez. Last season, he tore his ACL. He's battling a knee injury. But there's always certain players where if a player gets released, there should be a little light bulb that goes off in your head and say, okay, Blake Martinez has always been a Patrick Graham guy. Hell, 
Patrick Graham and Martinez worked together in 2018 on the Green Bay Packers. That was actually one of Martinez's better seasons. So back in 2018, 144 tackles, five sacks, was really able to show himself on the field. Giggity, three pass breakups. Martinez is definitely more of a run stopper, doesn't offer you that much coverage ability. But when you have the ties with him, and then you add that on top of Patrick Graham. So then next season, after being with the Green Bay Packers, okay, then obviously Graham goes to the Miami Dolphins, then becomes the assistant head coach and defensive coordinator with the New York Giants. Guess what Blake Martinez does? 2020, 2019, or 2020 and 2021 ends back up on the New York Giants. And in 2020, he had 151 tackles, three sacks. And Martinez has always been one of these players where I always say tackles are great, but you also have to look at a little bit more of in terms of what you're getting for from him. So last season, a 57.8 overall grade, according to PFF. Coverage grade of 60.0, but in 2020, 75.9 overall PFF grade, a run defense grade of 75.2, a coverage grade of 73.9. If Martinez can pass his physical, and if Martinez can prove to this Las Vegas Raiders organization, especially Patrick Graham, that he's healthy enough to make this team, he's going to be used. I know it for a fact. Blake Martinez will absolutely be a name to keep in mind. So what do you think, y'all? Let me know down in the comments section right now. Should the Raiders sign Blake Martinez? I want you to type Y for yes, or you could type N for no. As far as I'm concerned, this is an outstanding yes for me. You're not going to have to give him a lot of money. It's going to be a great fit. And a lot of the times when I'd bring up Deron Harmon, Casey Hayward, I talk about, okay, Sometimes it's important to have a player coach out there on the field. People can hate on, um, wow, Vontez Perfect all they want, but Vontez Perfect knew that Paul Gunther system, and when he was out there, was actually a good player participating in it. That's what you're going to see here in Martinez. He probably wasn't a good fit with this brand-new Giants regime, but he has always been a solid fit wherever Patrick Graham has been. And the last time I checked, Patrick Graham was in the Las Vegas area, and uh, I would not be upset whatsoever if Blake Martinez marched on over to the Las Vegas Raider area as well. So again, we talked about the two players that the Raiders signed. We talked about Blake Martinez. One of the top names out there that I used to always say, hey, right side of the offensive line is scaring the hell out of me. What can the Raiders do to address that? A name that I would always frequently bring up is Eagles offensive tackle Andre Dillard. And there was a report that came out today that he injured his forearm. It doesn't seem like it's going to end his season by any stretch of the imagination. However, it is going to put him in terms of not being able to play right away. So there's a name that I'm not going to be connecting the Raiders to anymore. And then well, the way that we'll wrap up today's video is Tyree Phillips. He signed with the New York Giants. He was the player that I talked about a little bit earlier on today's first Raiders report video that went out. I talked to Tyree's agent. His name's Paul. He's really excited about to go to New York. He was open to the idea about going, though, to the Raiders. The team, there was a team that contacted him from the AFC West. It wasn't Las Vegas. I can tell you guys that now. But he, unfortunately, is no longer going to be a member or has a chance to be a member of the Raiders. Now, y'all, I know we threw a lot of different stuff at you. If you have any other questions, please don't be afraid to hit me up on Twitter. You can obviously always hit me up on Instagram as well. Also, major shout-out to producer Jeremy Chuggs, who... Stayed a little bit longer on today. You know what? Come up here real quick. He stayed a little bit after work today. That way I could get this video out. So I don't care if you don't do anything about following me. Give Jeremy a follow. We would appreciate that. He does a lot of awesome work here. And if it wasn't for him, we couldn't do the, the work that we do here on the Raiders Report. So let's spam some chugs. Down in the chat, give my man, my, my, man, my man a follow on Twitter. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I'll be back bright and early tomorrow with another Raiders video. And if anything else happens... We might go live. Like if Darren Waller gets extended, I am on full full Darren Waller extension watch. If it happens, I'm going live here on the Raiders.